We are gathered here today in a time of great suffering and mourning. Our country is in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. George Floyd was murdered eight days ago, another black man needlessly killed at the hand of a white man in authority. Protests across the country have led to riots and looting, and stories differ as to who is behind the violence and theft. Our president yesterday declared that he would use the military to put an end to the violence and immediately stood in front of an Episcopal church, Bible in hand, as though claiming divine blessing on his decision. We are at a time of great suffering, a time of great mourning, a time of great confusion. It is good for us to gather in prayer at a time like this. This service will include several moments of extended prayer. I invite you to pray silently or aloud as you feel called. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who believe in you, give comfort and clarity of vision to us in this time of need. Open our ears to hear your voice and obey your will. Open our hearts that true justice and wisdom may abound and open our hands that violent res resolution of conflict may cease. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have perplexity in my mind and grief in my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Look upon me and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemy say, I have defeated you, and my foes rejoice that I have fallen. But I trust in your unfailing love, my heart is joyful because of your saving help. I will sing to the Lord who has dealt with me richly. Psalm 60, O God, you have cast us off and broken us. You have been angry, now take us back to you. You have shaken the earth and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it totters. You have made your people no hardship. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. You have set up a banner for those who fear you, to be a refuge from the power of the bow. Save us by your right hand and answer us, that those who are dear to you may be delivered. God spoke from the holy place and said, I will exult and parcel out Shechem. I will divide the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. I throw down my sandal upon Edom and over Philistia I will shout in triumph. Who will carry me in procession into the fortified city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? You no longer go out, O God, with our armies. Grant us your help against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God we will do valiant deeds. God shall tread our enemies underfoot.
Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or the land and the earth were born, from age to age, you are God. You turn us back to the dust and say, Turn back, O children of earth. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You sweep them away like a dream. They fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes. In the evening it is dried up and withered. For we are consumed by your anger. We are afraid because of your wrath. Our iniquities you have set before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to end like a sigh. The span of our life is seventy years, perhaps in strength even eighty. Yet the sum of them is but labor and sorrow, for they pass away quickly and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath? Who rightly fears your indignation? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servants. Satisfy us by your steadfast love in the morning, so shall we rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you afflicted us, and as many years as we suffered adversity. Show your servants your works, and your splendor to their children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands. Prosper our handiwork. Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent, who devise evil in their hearts and stir up strife all day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent, who are determined to trip me up. The proud have hidden a snare for me and stretched out a net of cords. They have set traps for me along the path. I have said to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, O Lord, to my supplication. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Lord, nor let their evil plans prosper. Let not those who surround me lift up their heads let the evil of their lips overwhelm them. Let hot burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the mire, never to rise up again. A slanderer shall not be established on the earth, and evil shall hunt down the lawless. I know that the Lord maintains the cause of the poor and renders justice to the needy. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name, and the upright shall continue in your sight.
How long, O God, the psalmist cries, a cry we make our own. For we are lost, alone, afraid, and far away from home. The evil lurks within, without, it threatens to destroy the fragile cords that make us one, that bind our hearts in joy. Your grace, O oh God, seems far away, will healing ever come? Our broken lives lie broken still, will night give way to dawn? How can we hope, how can we sing, O oh God, set free our voice? To name the sorrows, name the pain, that we might yet rejoice. How long, O oh God, the psalmist cries, a cry we make our own. Though we are lost, alone, afraid, our God will lead us home. With Job of old we cry out, everywhere the innocent suffer. Our desires and efforts achieve us little. O oh God, are you good, yet do nothing to help us? Our answers have holes, and we fall through. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear us, O God. Revive us with hope. Give us your life. Hear these words and receive their power. The majesty of God the Father undergirds all that is. The mercy of God the Son accepts our despair. The comfort of God the Spirit embraces us in communities of care. Thanks be to God. In our baptismal covenant, we are called to serve all people following the example of Jesus and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. Our purpose statement at Prince of Peace calls us to seek and serve Christ in all people. We may not know how to do these things now. It may take time to live into them. For now, we continue to pray. Eternal God, Amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, our refuge and strength, you have bound us together in a common life. In all our conflicts, help us to confront one another without hatred or bitterness, to listen for your voice amid competing claims, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
O God, where hearts are fearful and constricted, grant courage and hope. Where anxiety is infectious and widening, grant peace and reassurance. Where impossibilities close every door and window, grant imagination and resistance. Where distrust twists our thinking, grant healing and illumination. Where spirits are daunted and weakened, grant soaring wings and strengthened dreams. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>